It's about 6 p.m. and I'm over here on the west side of South Bend, Indiana. They made metal cook stoves. These are all chips of metal. They were in business at this property from about 1908 to 1982. This place has been abandoned for 40 years and a lot has happened since then. All you have to do is follow this abandoned rail line and it'll lead you right over to the building, which is right over there. A little bit creepy. When you're walking around abandoned sites, you really got to be careful about rusty nails. Let's go check it out. Hello. When you first get in here, it's a little bit disconcerting because your footsteps make a lot of noise and it's incredibly quiet and there are a lot of dark places and you don't know if someone's hanging out back there. This, this is a little bit eerie and a creepy chair. When I get nervous, I tend to speak in like an Australian accent and you might notice that a little bit in this video. Hello, hello. What are you in here? No, just chairs quite a few sounds that startled me. I guess I just don't want to get attacked. So there you go. We've got a cage here and they've got a dog bowl. Saw some other dog bowls. Might have been for dog fighting. We have found the elevator shaft. Oh yeah. Try out these stairs. Hello? Oh, this is what was making the noise. God, I kept hearing something whoosh in the background. Third floor. And we haven't gotten in a fight with anyone yet. This is great. Over here we got some beautiful green windows. This sort of reminds me of the scene from Aladdin where Aladdin is showing Jasmine his shithole apartment, but even though it's a shithole, he has this beautiful view of Agrabah. And this is, I mean, for me, just stunning. That's a lot of pallets. I would highly recommend making your way up to the third floor. The stairs feel sturdy. It's a lot airier up here. It's drier. It's less dusty. The walls are blown out so it's open and you can see a lot more so you're not always peeking around corners. Give you a little flavor of the second floor. 
and head down these nice metal stairs and not get caught by anyone. Like that car right there. <laughs> Hello. I'm a little bit anxious as I leave because there were just so many beautiful shots and angles to this building and I know that I can't do it justice but I'm I'm just trying to give you a flavor you should probably scope it out bring some appropriate gear a flashlight the right clothes good walking shoes and uh, maybe bring a friend the buddy system always helps It's getting a little bit dark out, perfect time to head home.